Good afternoon, this is Lydia Facto for your hero class. We are now entering week two of our, our uh, schedule. Uh, the way I decided to do this was to, um, the first two weeks really have opened together in, in a look at the epic hero. So hopefully um, you got most of the reading done. If you didn't get it all done, that's okay. Um, this week I'm expecting you to finish Captain America uh, Superman and um, make sure you've watched our two films um, Star Wars A New Hope and um, excuse me and um, Harry Potter's first film. All of these um, the readings and the two films for this week really tried to capture the element of the epic hero. Um, I think Luke Skywalker even though it's a modern retelling is very similar to what Campbell's talking about when he refers to the epic hero in this kind of, um, you know, um, mythological uh, standards, this kind of godlike heroes. Um, and in fact, George Lucas, when he wrote and um, plotted out Star Wars really was inspired by Hero with a Thousand Faces. So that's one of the reasons we see so much of this going on. I, I gave you um, the full two weeks on your first quiz. and I'm going to give you uh, a, a quiz this week, which will focus mostly on Captain America, Superman, and the two films. Um, it will be very similar to last week's quiz. This week you also have a um, paper due. And in this paper, you're analyzing the um, epic hero. I've placed it on. I've placed online for you a number of powerpoints about writing, um, how to set up an argument paper, how to set up um, a research paper, how to do formatting of your sources, and how to do a formal outline. I'm not requiring an outline this time, but um, you know, I wanted you to have the tools available. Um, we're just looking at a, um, you know, 1,250 word uh, analytical essay arguing that whoever you choose is an epic hero and why, based on Campbell's design. I placed also some more links to help you get through uh, um, Campbell's monomyth and understand it in a clear fashion. Um, there are no extra readings this week. Instead, I just wanted you to finish whatever you did not finish the week before. There will be a couple more journals I will be putting on as well this week for week two. Week three, you will start your feminine hero, and we'll talk about that in a, in a little bit. So the monomyth. The interesting thing about the monomyth, um, Joseph Campbell saw this mythological cycle in almost all heroes. And in fact, um, pretty much every hero has most of the monomyths um, elements to it. Whether it's the unusual birth, Superman, born in the stars, uh, Luke Skywalker, um, born son of Darth Vader, um, a twin, hidden, and so on. Um, Harry Potter, uh, born of these two witches that, warlocks, whatever, wizards, wizards, that were um, in rebellion to Voldemort. Um, Harry's mother sacrificing herself to protect Harry, thereby giving him the scar and giving him a, a different type of protection. To, to allow him to grow up to be the savior. So we see lots of this going on in your different stories. So an unusual birth, the call to adventure often occurs. All of this is part of the hero saga. So um, hopefully you are once again enjoying your readings. Uh, there will be another lecture um, that I'm putting on that will just talk about Captain America Superman and the two films um, in preparation 
for your quiz. If you have any questions, again, you can always email me through Blackboard or through GoPortal. I hope so far you're enjoying the readings. I'm enjoying reading your uh, responses. I look forward to your papers.